Hi everyone, I wanna read one more book to add to our dental health collection before I share it out with everyone. And it's about a turtle that we know because we've read a couple of stories already about him. It's Franklin. And it's called Franklin and the Tooth Fairy. And I don't know if you know this, but turtles don't have teeth. So Franklin doesn't know anything about the Tooth Fairy. And when he learns about the Tooth Fairy and how exciting it is to have the Tooth Fairy come to your house, he decides that he wants to find a way to get the Tooth Fairy to come. There's Franklin and his friend Bear. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had lots of good friends and one best friend named Bear. Franklin and Bear were the same age. They lived in the same neighborhood. They liked the same games. But one morning, Franklin discovered a way that he and Bear were different. Waiting for the school bus, Bear put his paw in his mouth and wiggled a tooth back and forth. It jiggled and wiggled, and then with a tug, it came out. You can see it. It's, he has it right in his paw. Look at this, said Bear. I lost my first tooth. Franklin was so startled. There was even a little blood on the tooth. Oh, that's terrible. How are you going to tell your mother? Bear just laughed. My teeth are supposed to fall out, said Bear. It makes room for my grown-up teeth. Franklin ran his tongue around his gums. They were smooth and firm and completely toothless. Um, I, I don't have any teeth, said Franklin. Now it was Bear's turn to be surprised. Franklin's friends shook their heads and said, head sadly, and they said, too bad. Franklin wondered why he'd never needed teeth before. Bear wrapped his tooth in a bit of tissue and he put it in his backpack. I need to keep this safe, he said. All the way to school, Franklin wondered why Bear wanted to keep his old tooth, especially if he was going to get a brand new grown-up tooth. Now that is exciting. Why do you want to keep your tooth, asked Franklin. Won't you get a big one soon? All his friends looked at him in amazement. They couldn't believe he didn't know about the tooth fairy. Don't you know about the tooth fairy, asked Fox. Franklin shook his head. No. At night, before you go to sleep, you put your baby tooth under your pillow. Then the tooth fairy comes and takes the tooth away, explained Fox. But that's stealing, said Franklin. Besides, what does the tooth fairy do with all those teeth? And there he's imagining what his tooth fairy would look like. There was a long pause. Bear scratched his head. Fox swished his tail and Rabbit twitched. Uh, I don't know, said Bear, but she always leaves something behind. One of her own teeth, asked Franklin. Everybody laughed. Oh, Franklin, said Fox, the tooth fairy leaves a present. Franklin wondered what kind of present a tooth fairy would leave. I hope I get some money, said Bear. When I lost my first tooth, I got a new book, said Raccoon. I got crayons, said Fox. Franklin rubbed his gums. He wished he had a tooth to leave for the tooth fairy. He wanted a present too. Bear showed his tooth to Mr. Owl as soon as he got to school. Mr. Owl was very exciting, excited. Losing your baby teeth means you're growing up, he said. Franklin didn't say anything. He had no teeth, but he wanted to feel grown up too. Franklin was quiet for the rest of the day. Even at home, Franklin was quieter than usual. What's wrong, asked Franklin's mother. I don't have any teeth, he answered. Neither do we, said his father. That's the way turtles are. But I want teeth, said Franklin. His parents looked surprised. My friends get presents from the tooth fairy when they lose their teeth, said Franklin. Why do they get presents for old teeth, asked Franklin's father. Because it means they're growing up, said Franklin. Oh, I see. That night, just before bed, Franklin had a good idea. Perhaps tooth fairies did not know that turtles don't have teeth. He found a tiny white rock to put under his shell. He asked his mother to help him write a note, and it said, Dear Tooth Fairy, this is a turtle tooth. You may not have seen one before, 
Please leave a present from Franklin. Franklin woke up very early the next morning. He looked under his shell. The rock was gone, but there was a note instead of a present. He ran to his parents' room. What does it say, he asked. Franklin's pa father put on his reading glasses. It says, Dear Franklin, sorry, turtles don't have teeth. Good try. Your friend, the Tooth Fairy. Franklin was very unhappy until he noticed a big wrapped package near his breakfast bowl. Open it, said Franklin's mother. Inside was a beautiful book. Who is it from, asked Franklin. It's from us, said his parents. It's our way of celebrating the fact that you're growing up too. Franklin stood very tall. Thank you. From then on, Franklin didn't worry about being different from Bear. He knew that in all the important ways, he and Bear were exactly the same. The end. So that's Franklin and the Tooth Fairy.